Hey everybody, Harko here. This is the third round of the inaugural 70% tournament hosted on the GM Arena Discord server. And we are the green player this time around. Let's see. We get to be the meanie greenie player this time. Alliances are on. So let's accept. And do all that. Okay. I could go for that bonus, but it'd be rolling a 5v2. I think we want to make this position strong over here. And we can just be annoying and sit in the bonus. <laughs> so these are the uh, full list of settings. It's 70% on Pangea, progressive cards, nothing else really fancy. Uh, we are in the first position. In the second position, annoyed at our first move is Chaotic Disaster 0505. Grandmaster. Uh, third position got Apes Fly and Poo. Master, technically a Grandmaster. Uh, fourth position, we got Ace, Grandmaster. Fifth position, we got good old Pete, Grandmaster, of course. And in the last position, we got the host of the 70% tournament, Parlox. Novice, <laughs> technically a Grandmaster. He's really messing around in the ranks here. Or maybe that's his true rank. We'll never really know. I'll see at the end of this game. So that first move there is kind of forcing a no bonus game. Which in my opinion kind of balances it out because the only bonuses that are really holdable are the two plus twos off to the right here. Because if anybody holds any of these other bonuses it'd be really lopsided. <clears throat> so we gotta think uh, multi-positional. And I believe 18% is 12 territories. Yeah, it is. We get four. So that is nice from the lobby. Um, hmm. I think we'll combine these here and make that strong back there. Find some stuff over here. So we are in the first position, meaning we do have to possibly pay more attention to lines here. Do that. Hmm. So right now we got a four, four and a half position play going, which is nice. We aren't quite near the south of the board, but that hopefully shouldn't matter too, too much. Pete 
finally knocks us below 12. <laughs> He's trying to go for <laughs> go for holding 12 territories. Let's see what he's up to. We'll do that attack. So white's in a fairly condensed area, mostly in the center. So we could possibly have future lines on them. Pete's really trying to hold 12, but at the same time knocking us below 12. So I think we got to hit... Uh, his two on the left there. Because I doubt anybody else will. Not going to be a fan. But we get the good dice. Because it's good old balance blitz. Now, hopefully, uh, Ace is going to get knocked below 12 here. And I guess, just to clarify, I shouldn't have been allowed to hold 12 off the first turn, but I guess everybody forgot to knock me under. Doing a nice, careful balancing act of that so far. White gets knocked under. Uh, 
I understandably get knocked under. <sighs> so all the ace is left here. Parlox knocks Pete under. That was the best spot to knock him. If I card skip, Ace is on 12, assuming the rest of us do, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'll move back to say stay as quote-unquote separated as possible. So I think we're playing the first seat fairly well. Based on our last few Prague tournament games, we haven't been going first that often. So it is a nice change of pace. How are we doing for cards? Okay, <laughs> not the best. See, these are all the leftover cards in the deck. Thanks to Kilted taking all the dudes. <laughs> Hi, Deuce. <laughs> this may be a load of BS, but I feel like I get more horses and cannons <laughs> than I do dudes. That's probably just me talking nonsense. Some of our past World Cup games, though, I did have no set on four a couple times with holding <laughs> uh, double cavalry and double artillery. Do we have any of the things we don't? No plus twos here. Any close plus twos? Nah. Maybe we can move that five one to the left. Parlox knocks Ace under, but I have to knock Chaotic under. So I can't prioritize that plus two this turn. Pete's at 18. He could be hit either here or here. Uh, how do we want to separate this? Make that a five. Gotta make at least three here. I'll spread out the rest. Yeah, I'll keep it back in the center there. And we got a cavalry back, so no trade on three. As the first position, having no trade on three doesn't matter as much compared to the last position. However, if we have no set on <laughs> if we have no set on four, that opens up possibilities for everybody else to possibly kill us if they do have a set on four. Which I believe it varies slightly depending on the map, but it's roughly in the 80% range, I wanna say. I haven't really looked at the any extra percent details in a while.
He's doing what looks like the 40 position play. My God. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, eight stacks around the board. Okay. He's definitely going to be tough to kill. Ah, uh, one of the, pl the plus two on that orange one is gone now. Okay, so that doesn't matter too, too much. Hey, we finally get a dude. So we do have a trade. Now, taking the 20 trade and killing someone for the 25 at around this point in the game seems about neutral, depending on the dice. Since everybody's at, <coughs> pardon me, at around. 40 to 50 troops. So doing that wouldn't really result in a profitable move because I won't be able to take the 70 after or an ideal chain, I don't think, unless I'm missing something. So I think it's better to trade and <coughs> trade and wait. And it might be open season on the player that doesn't have a set on four. Do others have lines on us if we don't trade? Yes. May have to blast through some of that. Generally speaking, it's better to trade than not. Let's take a card and pass.
very pivotal moment in the game. Okay, Ace has a set. Now the sets have gotten high enough to where taking out Pete or Parlox could be profitable. He's lining up tens next to Pete sixes. I wonder if he's thinking about that. Don't think he has quite enough to get all the middle areas. We'll see if he tries here. Running a bit low on time. Ooh, good roll on that. Does get it. Well played. A bit lucky with the 12 10, but he did have this 7 here as backup in case it failed. This might be the game here, actually. If he's able to chain this into a Parlox kill or the 70 run, or he might just sit here. Yeah, he's running low on time. He has to sit. Owns 30% of the board. Parlox trades. Going for a kill on any of us doesn't set him in. But does he have enough for the 70? Not sure. His turn timer is already half up. He'd have had to start going for it by now, I think. Okay. So lining up apes, maybe, for next turn? <laughs> we do hold 12 territories, funny enough. Knock him down a little bit at least. We won't open the 16 to our stack. Uh, no set on three again. That is not looking good for our survivability. Ace hits a few territories. Knocking him down a bit, but it doesn't matter too, too much at this point. If he has a trade on three, I wonder if Ace rushes the 70 here. Which, considering we don't have a trade on three, that might be okay for us, because that would give us the two survival points. Might be what he's considering here.
Gotta move a lot quicker if he wants the 70 this turn. Oh, hits our stack. Hmm, runs out of time. Ah, <coughs> oh, pardon me. Does this feed the apes kill the parlocks? I think it does. So you can double tap the 15. 21 kills the 16. Oh, he's going after us instead. Oh, he's going after both of us. Yeah. Apes dies, then I die. And then Parlox gets the win. Give him a... <laughs> Give him a heart here. Hope that he doesn't kill us. <laughs> No, give us the two points. Ah, uh, he's got it. Good game. Ah, uh, we don't get any. But, that is how it goes sometimes. So, Parlox gets the win plus two bounties. Aces bounty doesn't count because he didn't get the victory. So it'll be Parlox with 10, Ace and Chaotic with... Oh, he might be going for another bounty, never mind. Okay, it'll be first and three then for Parlox. Well played. So that'll be 11 points for Parlox. Two points... To ace who survives and then the rest of us get zero. Good game, well played, Parlox. All right, well that's uh, week three of the tournament. So we still only have seven points. But we do have above zero overall, so we do qualify for round four. Round, uh, making it to the semis of round five might be close, but we'll have to see how next next week shakes up. But all right, GG's once again to all of our opponents. And until next time, everybody, take care. And cheers for stopping by.